guys and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about snake behavior for beginners, understanding the language of the snake. As you may know, all animals speak their own language and some are easier to understand, like cats and dogs for example, and some can be a little bit more difficult to understand, like for example the snake. The way that the snake speaks to us is a lot different than for example the way that a dog speaks to us. When a dog is happy it wags its tail and we can clearly see that it's a happy dog. When a snake wags its tail that means something entirely different that actually means back off I'm not comfortable just to give an example on how different that they are today I have divided snake behavior into six different categories and I'm going to take you through each of them let's start with the first one that's the one that I like to call comfortable that's the snake just chilling around inside the terrarium and pretty much not doing anything for ball pythons it's typically just them hiding inside their hide <laughs> not doing much and for boas it can be just chilling around either on a branch or just in plain view of the terrarium. So that's just when the snake is most calm and not really doing anything. Now that's pretty much a comfortable snake. The second one I call curious. That is when you will see the snake move around slowly and with the tongue flickering. You will often see this when you're handling them. It's pretty clear to see that they are pretty much just chilling around, having a look at what is uh, in the area. You will also see this behavior during nighttime because that is when the snake naturally will go look for food. So you will see it in the terrarium just searching around with the tongues flickering to see if there is food. It will still have this same kind of chill attitude and it will just be very comfortable slithering around. A curious snake is nothing to be scared of. Some of them move quicker than others of course but if they are moving too fast like they are trying to escape you then we are definitely moving into the next category. And the third category is uncomfortable. That is when the snake is actively trying to get away from you, like you're having a little bit of difficulty holding them. That is a snake being a little bit stressed and not comfortable wanting to get away from you. You will also see this in ball pythons when you're trying to pick them up, they will kind of push you away with their body. And this behavior might be misinterpreted, especially by beginners who think that the snake pushing against you is a sign of affection. Because when you're petting a dog or a cat and they push against you, that is definitely a sign of affection and that they want more. When a snake does this, that means leave me alone, I'm not very comfortable. A ball python, for example, might also show discomfort by rolling into a ball where it also gets its name from. So that simply means I'm not comfortable, please go away. With ball pythons, it might not go further than that, that they roll into a ball and then hope that you will leave them alone. But with other snakes, it might go a little bit further. And that is the fourth category, and that is the one I call uncomfortable with an attitude. As you can see with Queenie here, she is actively pushing me away. You can see she's pushing me away with her body, but she's also coming towards me. So she's basically saying, move away, move away, move away. A snake that's uncomfortable with an attitude will also be more aggressive when it's time trying to get away. Not that it will bite, immediately but it would definitely use a lot more of its strength to get away from you. A snake with an attitude might also turn its head to hiss at you and that is like the final warning before a bite. Which of course leads me into the fifth category which is ready to strike. You're not in doubt when your snake is about to strike. You can see that the entire body is very very tense and it kind of has this S position in the neck and up to the head and it's moved a bit back so it's just ready to launch. When a snake is in that position do not touch it, like do not boop the snoot, do not do anything. That is a snake that's ready to strike and ready to bite. A snake may go into the strike position either because it is expecting food, like when you bring up the rats or the mice and the snake gets to smell it and it will often come forward and you sit in this position ready to strike. But it can also do this if it's being scared or if you're pushing it over its limit. Like if it's already told you want to back away, it may be flickering its tail, it may be pushing you away with the body and you keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and the snake in the end will have no option to just go into this position because it feels that it cannot get away from you, that it cannot go somewhere where it feels safe. So this position is very good when you're feeding, it's not very good when you're not feeding. The sixth and last thing that I want to talk about in this video is the snake being stressed. A snake will show stress in different ways. For example, it can be that it has stopped eating. That's something that we very often see with bull pythons. It can be that it's constantly 
moving around inside the terrarium like not only during the nighttime where it would naturally go out to hunt but also during the daytime so stress can really show itself in several different ways I've done a whole video just about stress and of course I've linked to it right down here you can also click the link up here if you want to see more All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to talk to snakes. If you did, please give a like and also subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. And if you have any more questions or want to see more about how to talk to snakes, just post it right down in the comment section. That's all for now, guys. Thank you and bye-bye.